Fashionista Steams. And we're back with an all new mating game. I think it's number 158. I'm not sure. But we have some very interesting people on today, I do believe. Take it away, Tink. Why? Thank you, I'm Tink Farts Mills. And welcome back to an all new mating game. We have some very interesting people on today, I have to say. Returning! After a long stint away, Granny Batty! Hello, Birch! Sexy Granny! Working down the street! Sexy Granny! <laughs> Returning! Diego Lobo! I am Diego! I'm back! Yeah. All you women will faint at my feet! Uh. Not really. Returning after a long stint away, Ken Carson! <laughs> Jeffrey? <laughs> Fred, watch out! <laughs> yes, honey. I mean, I'm sorry, yes? <laughs> Jeffrey, get the hell out of here, you little fucking gassy ass! Yeah, he said, look at the hand, Fred. And, of course, in our third chair, as always. Hey! Hey, hey everybody, I'm her. And, of course, our lovely cameraman, Fred. Hello, Fred. I don't know. This is going to be a fucking hellacious game, I'm afraid. I would be too, because Granny's here. And, Ken, and, and, and Ed's already crying because of Ken. Good job, help me. I already have a headache of his voice. Alright, girl. Shut the hell up! We missed you. It's in Bermuda. With your shorts. I have shorts. No, you don't. You don't have any shorts on. You're just naked. No, I have shorts on. No, you don't. You have no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You have no damn shorts on. They're gone! I need to it right here. Oh. I'm sorry, you're Ooh. naked. No, I'm not. <laughs> Granny, we just want to go ahead with your first question. They're arguing over fucking Ken's shorts. He is wearing shorts and shirt up. Hey, he's trying to think and make a prank on his ass. Hell. I like stupid enough to fucking believe it. No, I'm wearing shorts. I'm looking down. Uh, I just don't have a shirt. And you can feel you, you can see your shorts and feel your shorts, but you can't see and feel your shirt. It's gone. I have no words for your stupid ass. I don't know. All right, go ahead, Granny. Well, thank you, Ed. I, I think I already said that. I'm oh, sorry, team. You step on your toes. Oh, number one. What a switch it. Are you sexy? You better believe I'm the sexiest man alive! You sound sexy! Of course Black I am. Hey, no sexy as me, though! Yibs, yibs. I've seen Sylvia her. Dress. She's not sexy. <laughs> You're not sexy Jay yourself! West. Yes, I am, too. Chavez no, I'm not! I know I am, too. Yes. No one would go for oh, you! Yeah. I've been on tons of damn dates. Most of them bad, but still. No one would go for you! Ew! The coach, you hear the way she's shocking me, Arlene, all y'all out there in the audience? I would go for Ed. Yeah. If I was a woman, Mon, I would. Uh, I would! Thank I'm you very good. much. See, I'm there you go. Minerva? Minerva? Yes! <laughs> I'm shocked, actually. Minerva uh. likes me. Usually she goes for that people like, um, what's his name? Donald Yeah, John. Why can't I not ever think of his fucking stupid name? Because he's a butthole. Yeah, but you like screwing him. Oh, I forgot. 
And Caleb, too. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> hey. Everybody would go for egg! I'd definitely go for egg. He's cute. <laughs> you are egg! Shut the hell up. I'm sitting here right next to you. I gotta be egg. You're a wiener! You're, you're still the same person! And how can I be in two different places Please. at the same time? Cool. Answer me that, nervy! You're not! You're just a so voice bad. in the void! Avery, you're the only! I am not worse! I'm not getting in this dang uh -huh. crap! Man, she's two people mod. I can see both of them. Here he's high! <laughs> That's true, I am on. There's Priest right there! He looks just like Aunt Tiffany's different person! So, Aunt, so tell me that! Oh! Let's think about dirt! To make high praise? <laughs> no, honey, I'm just saying! Oh, all right, that was all! Apolachaba? So, yeah, Aunt Wayne is a different person! Thank you, honey! Probably a cousin or something, who knows? <laughs> Good gal, help me. You're not sexy, so I'm skipping you. Who, Ed? Rachel number three. I'm not asking you. You're blur. Rachel you have to ask the the, the contestants <laughs> questions. No, I'm skipping her. Wait, then I guess I just never did not say a word. Hi, hey, that ain't fair. <laughs> All right, I'll ask it. Ed, are you sexy? Hell yeah! There you go. That answered your question. Now you can go on. Right, but my dang boot up your butthole! You go for it, Arlene. Russell number one! If you skipped Ken. Oh. oh. My bad. Russell number two! Are you oh, sexy? <laughs> yes, I'm sexy! Yeah, you I can't stand by his fucking whiny ass, boys. No, it doesn't sound sexy. No, he, he sounds, ain't. He sounds like a wimp. That's Barbie. He is a wimp. That makes no sense. You're willing to skip Ed, but not Ken. <laughs> that makes no dang <laughs> sense. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to cram in your fucking head. Then you won't have to worry about your fucking shirt no more. The only thing is woman head handcuffs on me. And I was wearing my red heart underwear, you know? I tell you, well, that handcuff, boy, that hurt. They're a little bit too fucking too tight, but I didn't enjoy the sex. <laughs> did, he, did you escape the handcuffs? Yeah, I got them off. They were just one of those slip ones. Oh. Anyway, you know, Granny thinks he's funny, too. You know, I actually have my shirt. Ah. I found it. Why in the hell am I? Um, I found my shirt. It's a good thing gone. Yay. And I found my shirt. All right, whiny ass. April Fools, I did it. Let me go. Granny, go ask any more questions. We're going to sit here and listen to them talk. Russia number one. Yes, baby. Have you ever had thoughts of murder? All the time, let me tell you. That's like Donna Thorio. I hate that motherfucker. Don? The next Granny 3 catching Donna Thorio. <laughs> oh no. That's a number 2. Have you had that's a murder? No, I haven't. You're a liar! <laughs> what? You're a liar. I am. And Barbie, when you was on there, she was, she left you for that other motherfucking man, and you murdered him. You watched him fucking die while eating cereal. You are a murderer, or a murderer lover. No, he got to have a volcano. But you didn't try to help him. That makes you just as guilty as you uh, done yourself. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, I did. Because I did I wanted Barbie. <laughs> and you still do. Thanks for reminding me, Ed. I forgot. No problem. Russell number three. Yes. Have you ever had such a murder? I've killed people before. Ooh. Except for baby area, you can't kill that bitch. You gotta try. I'll try. Yeah, fucking trap her ass if you can fucking kill her. I doubt you can. I tried. I don't know how many times. 
eight or nine times one night, and then over the course of the other time we'd been on the bank game, she never dies. <laughs> All right, then. That's what number one. Yes, my darling. Do you like horror tree? movies? Yeah, for five years. I do, but I like romantic movies too. And porn, my god, I love to watch Screwy. Oh my god. Of course you do, you're a pig. No, I'm sexy and beautiful, and I love to have sex. Constantly. We have a fucking whole damn fucking cabinet full of Viagra. I don't need Viagra! I am Diego Lopo! Damn! I am the. I am the Zappa! Hey, I don't I'm need fucking pills. I have a natural hold on. <laughs> Go on, Stu. Oh my God, Clip and Stu's in the audience. Why not? We're drinking whiskey. Of course we are. We're always drinking whiskey. We're, we're drinking whiskey on the beach in the rain. Uh -huh. Oh, it's rain, but it's whiskey got it soggy. <laughs> <laughs> Chavez Turka. Soggy whiskey's better than noggy whiskey. Section <laughs> <laughs> <That's> number two. <laughs> I'm doing yeah. like horror movies. Nah, yeah, they're too scary. I like comedy and romance. You are a comedy. I'm fake, you're not funny. He just didn't know when. I am. Yes, you are. And yes, I do love horror movies. My favorite ones are Halloween, Friday the 13th, and the Freddy Kruegers. All them. I love all them fucking horror movies. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> I should be in a horror movie. You probably are. Russia number one. Yes, my darling. Do you care how old a woman or a man is? No. Age is just a number, my darling. I will, I will make love to any man. Anybody, actually. Are you safe? We don't care if they're older than you. No. You bet. What do you mean you make love to anybody? Not any person. That's a, let's make this clear. Only people, nothing else. I'm not a sickle, you know. Man, that's game. There's only people who are adults. Exactly, not the kids. Oh my god, no. My, I had no age limit, but they had to be old uh, enough to be an adult. That's good. At least you ain't no pervert. You don't care in their 90s. Why would I? If they can still get their legs up and I'll screw them. Sinise, chore. Oh. Russia number two. Do you care how old a person is if they're adult or old? Um, ah. no. He just shook his head, yes. Hey, Lion! He should have no we're doing this, yes! I, I saw it, know. motherfucker! I want Barbie well, she ain't ever gonna age. She's like 95 years old right now, so it looks like she's fucking like 20. I probably sing. <coughs> <coughs> Anyway. Russia number three. Yes, honey. Do you care if, if the person is, is an adult or old? Not really. I don't have no preference of age, body size, hair color. I ain't that stuff. I don't really care. As long as they're a good person inside, that's all that matters to me. Twins of food. Russia number one. Yes, darling. How would you react if you heard rumors about me killing people? Would you still date me? Rumors are rumors. You don't know the truth. So I would give you the benefit of the doubt, darling. <sighs> Russia oh, number two. Yes, How would you react if you heard rumors about me killing people? Would you still date me? No, you're too, you seem scary, and you probably are murderers, so no. What? You, you uh, watch Blind Guy? What's the difference? Yeah, really. Oh, uh -huh. I only want Barbie, though. Watch the movie! Uh-huh. How would you like if your brothers about me killing people? Would you stop date me? No, I would not. 
Because I know you kill people, so hell no. Rumors, though. If it was just rumors, I probably wouldn't pay no attention to them. Because I've been all the women. I've been... Oh, good God. Oh, yeah. You're I've been told about different women I went to when I wasn't giving the benefit of the doubt. It's like uh, Diego said over there. Diego! Whatever, hell. But still, if it was just rumors that I'd give you a chance, because hell, I fucking go out with just about anybody, I guess. But if I, I know it's true about you, so hell, no, I wouldn't date you if it's true. Oh, yeah, I'm on the burning in the ah. floor. Yes, you have, but I've been here, so there. I wouldn't. I think I murdered you once. Let's work about standing still stuff. Oh, it's back! Come to my butt! That's your number one! Yes, honey! I like to use my butt for different things! What do you think of that? What do you use it for? Anything you want! Then I look for it, baby! <laughs> That's your number two! Yeah! Oh my god, that is voice is cracking and shaking. I protect your kid, not really, but you know. Thank you. No problem. Hey. At least you're uh. nice to me, nobody else will. I must, you kid. Well, yeah, you do ah. take it, Fred. But every time I'm out here, everybody hates me. I can't imagine why. I don't know why I did. <laughs> it's your voice, my God, man. You're a fucking whiny brat. It's the way I talk. Even I might not consider screwing him because I couldn't handle the voice. I don't want to screw you anyway. You would never go back to Bob if you had me. Oh, yeah. um, I believe that, actually. <laughs> Daddy, answer your question. I'm scared to <laughs> you now. <too. laughs> okay, they get to ask for whatever. That's on number three. Yes, honey. I have a bat I like to use for specific things. What do you think of that? As long as you don't use it on me, I'm fine with it. I don't like that, that kind of kinky shit. Well, you play baseball. That's fine. I like playing baseball, but I like running. So you just have to kind of just walk to the, to the bases. Okay. That's for number one. Yes, my darling. Do you think I'm sexy? The way you sound, I think you are. Ooh, I like that answer. That's a number two. Do you think I'm sexy? No, I don't think so. You're scary. In the way you sound is scary. Hey, fucking damn red couch of tanks. I swear I'm gonna fucking cut the damn thing up. I have a blue one. I bought it Aaron. Bought it! Yeah, Mr. T asked me to buy from Aaron's and I did. What did Barbie say? She likes pink, not blue. Is that for your house? Yeah. I was gonna say. I bought her a pink oh. one. <laughs> Rachel right, so number three, do you think I'm sexy? Yeah, what do they say here? Uh. I think you are sexy in your, in your own little you cute uh, little way, uh. yes. Thank you. Go no ahead, sir. Yeah, well, not really, but you know. I heard that. What? I was talking to, I was talking to Smokey over her. That's your number one. <laughs> Both my sweetie. Do you have your own so original version of song? Mine is Sexy <laughs> Granny. Working <laughs> down the street, Sexy <laughs> Granny. That's right, you. Mine is, I am too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my hair, too sexy uh. for everything. Hell yes. Uh-oh. Brush on number two. Oh. You have your own version of a song. Mine uh, is sexy yes. granny, <laughs> working down the street, sexy granny. Um. No. You have not one sound that can. No, I have another song. Not your own. Uh, and I guess not. And what about you? Uh. I wanna rock that ham. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna eat that fucking ham. Hell yeah. Oh, good answers. Thank you very much. 
Russia number one. Yes, darling. Would you ever live in the countryside, or would you prefer the city only? I'm a city boy, though. I live in a apartment. But I wouldn't mind living in the country if there's a lot of country girls around to talk to. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, boys, let's have a... A Mushbina Gome. Fashion mm. number two. Yabna, huh? Would you Wave ever them. live in the country Wave or stay or just prefer the city? Um, <laughs> I might live in the beach. <laughs> then if it had two, that has the city, has the country scary. Uh -huh. What's scary about the country? There's giant bugs. Oh, are you scared of bugs, eh? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Right for number three, would you oh, like to live in the country or do you prefer the city? Sound, huh? Actually, I prefer to live in the right country. The I'm not a city person, oh, really. I never have been a city person. Right for number one. <laughs> what, my sweetheart? <laughs> <spirit? laughs> when the world's raining? It goes off and on. I see. <clears throat> if you ever visited my house, Lampima, Ukinik, Would you be What be the first room you think you would pay attention to? The bedroom, my uh, darling. That's the first place I can see that go. That's one number two. If you visited uh, my house, what would be the first room you would notice? Um, the bathroom because I would hide. That would need no game. What do you call it all? Question number three. If you visited my house, what would be the first room you would notice? Maybe the front door was. That'd be where I'd be running back out of. I thought you were the kitchen. That too. Actually, that's a good ass. Actually, yeah, it's really good you thought that. Cause yeah, I would actually go look to the kitchen because that's where the fucking food is, where the ham and all that shit. Uh, yeah, I reiterate, I would keep an eye on the front door, but yes, I would search for the kitchen first. Watch uh, number one, Linda. What, darling? Have you ever watched any of my granny series on Genie Sims Channel? No, I have not. I have Send me the link and I will watch. There's two seasons. That's cool. If you're interested, you're welcome to watch. All right then. Russian number two, have you seen the Granny series on Jason's channel? Yes, you both! That's <laughs> <So> scary! <laughs> there come the oh ambulance again. Will you shut up? Well, the ambulance is back. Where? Oh, shit! It's his fucking. Ah, uh, shit. Bachelor number three, have you seen any of the granny series on Genie Sims channel? Of course I have. I watch all stuff like that. It's interesting. Alright, Minerva, go with your last question. Bachelor number I'm not Minerva! I'm sorry. Granny! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Granny. Go with your last question. What? Grant! I, Grant! I can't tell their voices huh? apart. I'm sorry. Ha <laughs> ha ha! you tank! Tank? I'm tank? Am I tonic? What am I? I thought my name was Tink. You said Tonk. Just like Jerf. Oh, Shusha. <laughs> Pleasey. Rush on number one. Jerf and I. Yes, darling. What was your worst so date so ever? Sergey is super. Actually, you can tell a little bit of a difference between Minerva and Granny because oh you can understand Granny more than uh -huh. Minerva. Uh -huh. That's true. I do understand her better than Minerva. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, Cardool. My most dead ever! One of them was with Bella Goth! And she's married to Mortimer. Oh, dear. Oh, excuse me. Damn you, alien. Anyway, Mortimer was out of town on business for a couple of weeks. She got very lonely. She called me up and asked me to come over for dinner. The woman can't cook with shit. Everything was burned. I couldn't even eat it. And I was so hungry. And then we went to the bathroom to have sex, right? Uh huh, I'm listening. It's like beautiful. Boarding in bed. All she did was just lay there. Who the fuck is calling me? Jeb Brown. 
Who's calling me? Good job. Well, I'm busy right now. Uh, yes. So anyway, don't screw Bella. She's fucking dead lame, man. Don't do it. It was an awful day. I hated it. Maybe, yeah, well, I wouldn't think she. But maybe she's a dead because of you. <laughs> hey, no. What's your number two? What's your worst trait ever? <laughs> Mine was say that was a Barbie. You've only had been with Barbie hell. There ain't been no other women. I had a bad day with Barbie. Motherfucker. That was the time she left me for Blaine. That wasn't a date. She just left you. Yeah, she was on a date with me and left me. Did she break up with you? Yeah. That's the only reason why she took me on a date. Oh, then that would be a bad date. Yeah, that was mean. Hey, oh, wait. Actually, another one of my worst dates I've had, which has been too many to count. I met this really interesting woman. She was a she was a ghost hunter. Her name was Bella Ghostly. Bella Ghostly. That's what her name was. I suppose she's been made recently. She's been made kind of fast. Actually, she might be made today. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Bella Ghostly. Go ahead. Sounds like Bella Lug Ghostly, but go ahead, Ed. I saw that. Go ahead. I saw that. The Codish grimaced at me and rolled her eyes. Yeah, because you're ridiculous, Ed. I thought you liked my stories. God, now I'm upset. Sucking red caps. God damn it, Tank. Anyway. April Fool's, Ed. Don't start. <laughs> yes, it's April Fool's Day when this is recorded, so we have an excuse for April Fool's. Yeah, by the way, you don't have no shorts on, Ken. I did! No, you're stop. naked. Hey! Now they shoot! Now they shoot! They have underwear. Yeah. No, they're going to. Hey! Naked! Yuck. Yuck. Hey! I thought I put shorts on! April Fools. I'm oh, surprised no. you didn't ask me what's that. Anyway, as I was saying, her name was Bella Ghostly. And anyway, she was a ghost hunter. And you'd think I'd learn my lesson after having the fucking damn uh, run in with Geneva Stockpot and fucking the Poltergeist Frank. It's Poltergeist! Whatever it spelled wrong. I thought Poltergeist. Whatever it was. Anyway, you thought I'd have learned by that time. Because she was she was a ghost hunter, so you would think there was ghosts all around her all the time. Because she probably took shit with her, and I play phasmophobia. I've gotten murdered on her tons of times, so you know I, I do. Shades. Expensive yep, shades. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shade, my lord, on a blue yeah. skateboard, so when that's a he can slay me. Come on, shade, please don't slay me. See, and he did too. But anyway, shade's been on here. That's you ought to be on here some night when you ought to be on here, Kim, whenever Shady shows up. Oh, good idea. And that's another song you could have sung with Granny Squashed It wasn't really about me. <laughs> but kinda of was. But anyway. So if she decides to take me on this ghost hunt. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, I got choked. On this ghost hunt date. And I said, you know, I really don't think I'm I'm ready for that. I just <clears throat> I've been through all that shit with phasmophobia. I did um I did the paranormal investigation shit on Jenny Sam's channel. So I pretty much was about ghosted out. Even though I was really good at fucking that shit on the, on her channel, I really was. Surprisingly. I got through it fast. So anyway, we went ahead. I went ahead and went because hell, she was a, she was a very very nice lady. I thought. So we get to this old abandoned house, you know, and it's a huge motherfucker. Oh, like on Fadley Club, oh. it's a huge fucking people. I mean things on there. Some of them are a farmhouse, a prison, 
I like shit fucking huge. Yeah, you played bad, my phobia, you know, did it. you already played it. So. Not fresh. Anyway, a uh, little plug oh, for you guys. Bye, yeah, golly. I thank you fucking oh, game! Hey, for full of my ass! Hey, piss me the hell off! Hey, man, cry. Hey, Dad! I was going to play the new rooms and shit, and it wasn't known! Huh. Anyway, we was it there. I'm by Polly, by the way. You got comfy! Shut the hell up, Ken. Yeah, I wasn't in oh. so. Uh. Uh, anyway, uh, we went inside that big ass fucking motherfucking mansion like thing. It looked, it looks fucking creepy as hell. I am serious. And I happened to look upstairs and I saw something kind of white floating around, look like. I said, uh, Bella, there's something up here floating around. It's white. She said, I don't know. She said, I didn't see it. I said, well, I saw it upstairs. Said, Maybe we should go upstairs. She's like, all right, then. We walk up the creaky ass stairs. I mean, it's... You going up, you know. Thanks, Edgar, for the voice for sound effects. No problem. <laughs> it is a good turtle, too. When they're fucking... Do it, Edgar. Yeah, check the video out. It's, it's, it sounds the same. <clears throat> but anyway. And Edgar also sounds like a grinding hard drive. Uh, yeah, I do. I have a lot of voices. No, you really only have one. But anyway, that's all you need, though, is one. We walked up them creaky ass stairs, you know, and then we walked up to the to the landing, you know, where I saw that little white figure floating stuff and whatever. I was sitting there looking around. I didn't see nothing. And there was like, I don't know how many rooms with the door shut. So we started opening up doors and walking in there. Oh. It was just terrifying. I tell you, it was, we had flashlights, you know. It's like th on phasmophobia, but that was it. Because there wasn't no electricity in the house. It was old and abandoned. <laughs> anyway, I opened up about the third or fourth door on that floor. And, I, and there is that ghostly figure of a woman standing by the window. And she's crying. This is boo-hoo. And I felt awful for her, actually. I wasn't about to tell that woman about it because I figured she'd probably try to do some kind of ghost busting shit and fucking suck her up some kind of vacuum. Who knows what the hell they do. Anyway, I'm sitting there and I kind of walked a little bit close to her and I said, Are you all right, lady? And she just keeps crying and crying and crying. I just felt all. And the more she cried, the, wor the worst I felt. I finally get about maybe a couple foot away from her and I said, Honey, is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Uh-huh. Next thing I know, she fucking transformed this fucking devilish looking guy's uh -huh. damn fucking I don't know what. It had horns, it had fire breathing eyes and smoke coming out of his nostrils. It looked like a fucking devilish bull in the face. I screamed, fucking jumped back, fell over a fucking old chair, got that fucking run, started running, screaming like a guy's damn fucking I don't know what. And then of course Bella comes running, wait, hey, what is it? What is it? I said, there's some fucking woman in there. It's a ghost crying in by the window. She said, well, I'm going in there. I said, go right ahead. Go ahead. Go on in there. She said, you're coming with me. I said, no, I ain't. I said, it makes you feel sad when I'm in there. I didn't tell her about the motherfucker transforming. Anyway, next day I know she walks in there, and there's this guy standing there. Good looking motherfucking ghost, I have to say. And he does some kind of crazy ass ritual looking dance and shit next thing i know she that woman is mesmerized she starts doing this swaying dance like he's doing and next thing i know they start twerking and all kinds of crazy shit and i swear to you next thing i know she starts fucking throwing clothes off and then she jumps on the fucking bed and the ghost lands on top of her and disappears that's fucking two gosh damn women that's fucking screwed a ghost over me i said i'm done with this shit and out the fucking door i went hell no Oh my god, it really? I swear it happened. Of course it did. Well, I'll be right back after these brief commercials. Hang on, folks. Hell, good god, Fred. Uh, Dead Billy Ray wants Fred to go with him to the Spice Festival. Alright, thank you so much for the Tums commercial. I have heartburn already. Fucking Fred. <laughs> Well, Granny, would you like to be bachelor number one? Hmm. Bachelor number two? Hmm. Or bachelor number three? Kill can, can, kill can, kill can, kill can, kill can. Let me finish! Alright. How about I take the rest of you out? Is, wait, is Kenneth headphones on? I 
I put headphones, headphones on him. All right, Dan. I don't know how I'm going to do it and pause on my phone. Thank you very much. All right, all right, all right, there you go, Ken. You need to wear these. She's going to say a dirty word. Oh. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll take you for yeah, out to Applebee's no murder yeah, can. Sounds good to me. Hell yeah. Oh, I think I'd with that. Yeah. That sounds good. That okay. sounds great to me. Poor game. <laughs> No, that's your trademark. I'm doing this. Alright then. Oh, oh. Ah! Ah! Exploded too. Oh okay. You alright, Fred? Oh, I'm alive. I swear they always have to come back, don't they? Well, I do enjoy coming here because of Fred. Oh, no. Are you alright, Fred? Oh. Need some comfort? Oh, try for me! Ken Carson, huh? Haven't I had him before? Yes! Oh, gosh, damn it. Why'd he ask us back again? Come on, Ken, let's go. You know what, Fred? Well, Fred. Oh, What's your mouth, Fred? Uh, well, thanks for cleaning up, Granny. <laughs> Let's eyeball on the floor. Yes. <clears throat> you see that? That's a piece of them, some from somewhere. It's either his nose or his eyeball. I don't know which. Maybe a finger. I'm not sure. Anyway, Fred, we'll have a nice picnic this weekend. Well, let's see. I thought maybe... How about Mount Komorebi? They have a nice little park there. It's very beautiful this time of year. Alright, see you then, Fred. Saturday about, say, noonish? Alright, guy. See you later, guy. Well, another. I guess Granny's swimming for the for the shore. I don't even. I don't even know. I'll see you next week, folks. For an all new mini game. I'm Tink Parsons. Have a nice evening. Thank you so much, Tink. What the hell is Diego pissed off about? Oh, I know. Granny left them and didn't take them to Applebee's. Come on. Anyway. Always a very, very, very funny and exciting episode I think every week. Ed made him mad. Well, they say he's riled up. What did I do? I don't know. You riled him up. I don't know how, but I didn't even say anything. Oh, but anyway. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone. And stay tuned next week, folks, of course, for an all-new mating game. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The Roche. Ah, Bogan drove. Who yibs? <laughs>